<laughs> it's kind of a silly headline. Uh, of course, I'm talking about rich content. Dialogflow CX is the version of Dialogflow enterprise companies use. It's really good for voice bots, but a lot of people want it for rich content chatbots on their website. Riot Games is one of these companies. We interviewed them about this, so check that out. But for now, let's talk to Matt. We've got some ambitious bot builders here, so no pressure. But can you take a few minutes to explain how to set up rich media using CX for a website chatbot? Yeah, absolutely. It's really just as easy as copying and pasting uh, some JSON. What we've done is create a uh, custom payload schema that will allow you to easily send cards, text, suggestion chips, carousels, or lists. Let's get a glimpse of what that looks like. Yeah, so, so this is just a default response here with a simple text response created in Dialogflow CX. Now, if I wanted to type in um, suggestion chip, we can see the bot copy custom payloads in action. Nice, so I see what you did. You're gonna teach us about this with a bot that actually shows these things working. Yeah, so here we have two options. We can see a card or we can have a link out suggestion that goes to an external website. We didn't want you to be limited by certain design choices that we saw in Google Assistant. So specifically, you can add multiple types of actions to response types. For a carousel, you can have link out cards and selection key cards side by side. Or in this case with suggestions, you can have one suggestion that sends a message back to the bot and then the other one redirects you to a website. I see what's going on there. That's different than ES because the suggestion chip can go to a link out or an intent. Exactly. So this will just take us right to the bot copy website. However, if I click this one, it'll take us to another uh, bot copy custom payload. We have, a, like I mentioned, we have a number of different response types. So this will show us a list. This will link out to bot copy. Same with this list item right here. Uh, and then this one will show us a bot copy carousel. This one acts like a browse carousel item. And then this one right here will show us a list. Okay, so it looks great on the bot copy side of things, the front end. Let's take a look at the back end, the CX. Cool, so super easy to set up. We have created a uh, public GitHub readme here that goes into detail how these work, specifically the actions between a link out and a message. And also it's it's just pre-populated with some test data. So you can just copy and paste these and hop right in. We have sample code here for all the different response types that we offer. Cards, carousels, we can copy and paste this. And if I wanted to create a new sample route, just create a new intent here, add a dialog option for custom payload. And then you can just paste the sample from the uh, repo. Super easy. Also, as you can see, all the rich response types are in this bot copy array here. So we can add multiple response types if we wanted to. So let's say you wanted a text message followed up by some suggestion chips. We can just add this in right after it. And now we have a text message. The way I've set this up right now, we have a text message that will say hello. We also support SSML or text-to-speech, which you can add in with your text message. And then that's gonna be followed with two suggestion chips. Uh, one of them will have a title of message suggestion that will send the command of pricing to the bot. And the other one will be a link out suggestion that will redirect us to botcopy.com. Some syntax errors there? Yes, some more syntax errors. Those aren't hard to fix. They're not. You just gotta get your uh, braces all uh, sorted out, which you can use a linter for. Mm -hmm. Cool, so now we have a uh, suggestion and text combination here. So when I type in sample to our bot, we'll be able to see this. Here's our combo. Um, here we have that text message. If I wanted to enable text-to-speech here, it would say the text-to-speech bit right here while displaying hello. We have our two suggestion chips that we add in afterwards. And is it the same markdown that we use for ES? Yeah, same markdown. Um, so you can also add markdown to these bot copy payloads. So for example, I'll put hello in bold here by adding two, mar two asterisks on each side. So go ahead and save that, and boom, there we go. Same uh, same response, but this time it's just a little bold. Okay, so the advantages of CX are pretty obvious, and user just has to copy and paste our custom payloads from our rich content library. Yeah, and we have plans to implement a lot of some quality of life features with a uh, custom payload generator where you can kind of click and fill in text fields based on what you want the uh, response to look like, and then we can generate that JSON for you. Additionally, we're looking into making like a node library for you to import into your webhooks to auto-generate these response types as well. We're kind of envisioning something in the portal where it's like a payload generator where you can add a sequence of responses, type in what you want those res what the responses to say, like you can fill in the uh, description for a card and the title and the button links, and then click a button and that'll automatically generate the JSON for you, which you can just copy and paste in this CX console. Well, okay, so it sounds like the current process is pretty darn easy. 
Yeah, definitely. We try to make the syntax and the, the naming conventions here as easy to use as possible. We try to make it as customizable as possible as well. So it really is just up to you on how you, you want to implement your bot. Right. So you've spent a lot of time with Dialogflow ES and CX. What's the key takeaway about the difference? I think CX is great for large, complex bots. One of the benefits of CX uh, is using recyclable flows here. It's great for doing self-contained little bits that you can repeat. However, I I do think that ES has a little bit of an easier learning curve. The trade-off there is that while it's a little bit simpler to use, the UI is not as easy to read as uh, Dialogflow CX. And also when you have large bots with many, many different follow-up intents, that's when ES can can really become a grind and, and be difficult to organize and, and sort of wrap your head around. CX is great if you have a enterprise level bot that uh, will have tens to hundreds of different intents and it'll help you visualize that very well. CX allows for multiple people to work on a bot at one time and supports versioning, uh, whereas ES does not. Well, excellent. That's really good information. Thanks for the tutorial and we will talk in a bit. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Okay, so there you have it. Visit us at Bot Copy today. We'd love to work with you.